I've always been a big fan of vintage, and I think it started when I was about 12, growing up in Marylebone, and there used to be a Saturday morning bric-a-brac flea market. And I got talking to an old chap called John, who ran a little stall there every week. He was this sort of granddad figure, and he said, well, why don't you come back and help me on a Saturday? I fell in love with the eclectic, unknown sort of world of what was going to come out with these boxes. It's just endlessly interesting. My very first paid job on a set was cycling around Albert Square. <gasps> Um, and I remember a cheque arriving for £19, thinking, big time, I've made it. <laughs> the great thing about acting and then having a product at the end of it which you then have no control over is always this surprise element. And in the case of Line of Duty, we were all aware that the writing was great, but you never quite know how much something is going to fire people's imagination. I've just finished filming on Doctor Who, the new series with Peter Capaldi, and I play Ms. Del Fox, who is an intergalactic banker. I don't know that it's easier to play a baddie. I think it's more fun. <laughs> Being married to a real Mr. Darcy, well, it's great. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's nothing like Mr. Darcy. This is exactly the sort of place that I love to come if I ever get a morning to myself. My eye does tend to go to the smaller, sort of shiny objects or the books that I might have had when I was growing up. Bino annuals and Mandy annuals and Judy. They make you reminisce about things that you'd long forgotten about. <laughs>